Princess Blue is Julie Gwen Davis, a sister, a daughter, a teenager with blonde curly hair and blue eyes, so different from the sketch drawn decades ago. Julie grew up in Orange, Texas and went missing in the late 80s after she moved to the New Orleans area, family says. She was around 18 when she left home. For 33 years, her brother Danny has searched, has wondered. He had no idea. About two hours west of Orange, Julie's bones had been found 30 years ago on the side of the road in Manville. Yeah, it's been a long time. It really has. All this time, no one knew it was Julie. And then seven months ago, Danny and his brother gave their DNA to state police. A ranger was investigating the possibility that Julie might be a different missing woman. When the brother's DNA went into a state database, it matched Julie's, Princess Blue's, a shock to everyone. Do you think somebody killed her? Do you think she died just naturally on the side? Like, what do you think happened? To be honest with you, I don't think she died naturally because someone's not going to walk down a, a, a dead end road, jump over a guardrail and then drop dead. What now? Like what, you know, part of this is solved because Princess Blue has a name and has an identity. But what now? Well, from what I understand, they're going to they're going to send me her belongings and then uh, they're going to uh, turn her remains over to me for burial and then I get to say goodbye to her. Sorry. It's a lot of pain for many years, 30 years. Yeah. And I miss her, man. She was my friend, not just my sister. The mystery girl with the Blue Stone High School class ring finally has a name. You don't know of any connection to the Houston High School with the class ring. Robert E. Lee High School with the blue class ring that, that basically is the reason she's called Princess Blue. You know of no connection to that ring. Okay, I just found out last night from my sister Shelly that Shelly met um, Julie's husband at one point in time, mm -hmm. years back, and uh, she said he was from Houston. And so now, guys, of course, the real work begins. The real questions like, what is her connection to that class ring? Was she, in fact, murdered? You know, when those bones were found, they were in such bad shape that the autopsy didn't come back. There was no conclusive cause of death. So detectives are just getting started. And that's why we cover these unsolved cases. We are getting ready to launch several more uh, over the next few weeks. So just stay tuned. Of course, we'll be updating them online and on air and I'll keep you posted but we're just so happy to be reporting this one this morning guys we'll send it back to you Courtney fantastic work thank you well Courtney has covered more than a dozen unsolved cases over the last few years at least 15 killers are still on the run this morning Courtney's working with police every week on updates and checking in with families if you have a cold case you want ABC 13 to know about reach out to Courtney on her social media pages under Courtney Fisher ABC 13.